Welcome to a new edition of our program, The Women's World, and in this edition of our program, we will talk about uh, Egypt's achievements and government efforts in the field of information technology and uh, digital transformation. And to uh, shed more light on this issue, we are joined over the phone by uh, Dr. Um, uh, Aufe uh, Aimer, uh, she is uh, uh, the uh, Dr. Reda Aimer, rather, uh, she is uh, the Dean of uh, Faculty of Engineering at a private university. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Uh, actually, the voice is not clear well. So, uh, yani, uh, Dr. I have Reda a problem Aimer. with the voice. You can't hear me? Uh, hello? Yes, Dr. Reda? Yes. Yes. So, uh, Dr. Heda, can you shed more light on the most important uh, achievements uh, uh, in the field of information technology and digital transformation? Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, Egypt has um, a lot of significant achievements uh, in the last few years uh, in regarding to the digitalization uh, in, the, in, the, in the field also of, uh, transform, of digital transformation. Uh, for example, the most important project happened in Egypt, yes. Egypt Digital National Project. Yes. This project significantly expands the nation's uh, fiber optic and high-speed internet infrastructure and improving conductivity and the coverage across the country. And this, of course, led to the foundation for reliable and abundant uh, access digital uh, services and digital economy. Yes. Uh, also, Egypt built a state of art of data centers, and this is for, for all of us as, um, as people working in, uh, in the technology, was a big celebration for us because uh, to make a data center and the cloud computing facilities is very important for any country, even for national security. And this will support the growing demand for digital services and data storage. Uh, uh, this advanced data infrastructure uh, assets have strengthened Egypt positions as a regional hub for digital services and the cloud-based solution. Uh, of course, this will lead um, uh, for a lot of a new job for um, our youth regarding uh, uh, transformation for new, new, new jobs in the, in the field of technology. Yes, Dr. Heda, how does the economy benefit from e-government? Um, the economy can benefit from the e-government in several ways. Yes. For example, e-government initiatives can uh, streamline government process and reduce administration costs yes. uh, through the use of digital technology. Uh, as online services and automated systems can decrease the need for physical infrastructure and the human resources uh, leading uh, to the cost savings for the government. Also, the e-government platform can enhance the transparency, and it's very important by making government data and then making process more accessible to the public. And for sure, will increase transparency and lead for greeting uh, accountability and the trust in the government, which can have positive economic uh, implementation and even will uh, uh, attract investors. Uh, the e-government platform can facilitate also better communication and the collaboration between citizens and the government. And this leads uh, to improve policy making and services the delivery and the government can better understand the response for the need of citizens. So, uh, Dr. Reda, the internet in Egypt is the, the uh, most stable uh, internet in Africa. What is the significance of this? It, of course, Egypt now leading the continent. Egypt uh, 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 has an uh, impressive average download speed of approximately uh, uh, 62.49 megabytes. And this top ranking position underscores Egypt uh, 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 to enhance the digital infrastructure as internet conductivity because it becomes increasingly crucial for economic, uh, economic development and day-to-day -day activities. Uh, we can say that uh, uh, the most important of Egypt having this was the, the, uh, uh, in the continent that um, reliable and high-speed internet will uh, make economic growth and development very fast and will enable business to uh, operate more efficiently, uh, access global markets and deliver digital technologies. This can attract also foreign investor investments and power innovation in various industries. Also, the growth of the digital economy and the tech sector 
relies heavily on the strong of internet infrastructure. And this strong internet in Egypt now can help to create more top, uh, tech uh, jobs and entrepreneurial and uh, innovation opportunity for our young. Uh, in education, it will help us and in research because high quality internet supports distant e-learning, online education, and it can access the global information and the resources. And this can improve also educational outcomes and enable Egypt to be hub uh, in research and development. Uh, I believe also uh, the efficient of the e-government services and the digital delivery of public services become possible with reliable internet, and this can improve transparency. And again, this is very important nowadays in Egypt and uh, the overall of quality of government services. So, uh, Dr. Reda, what are the most important stages of Egypt's uh, digital network project? Uh, of course, the, digital, uh, the Egypt Digital Network Project have very um, uh, impressive uh, achievements like expanding uh, the fiber optic uh, backbone infrastructure across the country and improving the conductivity and the coverage of high-speed internet, especially in the rural and underserved areas. Uh, the data center, the data center that, uh, and data cloud infrastructure development that happened and uh, uh, was uh, uh, published, uh, was um, uh, established in the last few uh, months and uh, uh, announcement from the government. This establishment is state of art, uh, uh, gets ensuring secure and reliable uh, data storage and the processing capabilities. Uh, digitization of the government service and the process coming from the uh, Egypt Digital Network project and also digital skills development. Investing in the digital literacy and the skill training program and upscaling the workforce was very important outcome of the digital network project of Egypt. The, the most important issue is the cyber security and data protection because this project is implementing uh, power uh, cyber security measurement and the framework and also ensuring the protection data and the privacy of the citizens and the business. Uh, and putting a lot of the regulation and the policy framework also and uh, make us make a good collaboration with the uh, private sectors and international organizations and uh, international also stakeholders. So to preserve uh, information, uh, organizing uh, legislation must be issued. What are the most important steps taken by the Ministry of Communications in this regard? Uh, the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology in Egypt has taken several important steps to preserve the information and establish the necessary legislation framework in the regard. Uh, for example, uh, data protection legislation. Mm. The, 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 the ministry has developed and implemented the personal data protection law, the law number, I believe, 151 for 2020. Also, they establish comprehensive legal framework for protection of data personal, personal data and the privacy of rights. Uh, also, accept guidelines for collect, uh, collections and processing and the storage data uh, for personal. Uh, in the cybersecurity regulation, uh, the ministry uh, put uh, the national uh, cybersecurity strategy and cybersecurity law. This regulation aims to strengthen the country's cybersecurity posture and to protect corrosion infrastructure and data involving cyber threats. The defined rules of responsibility and the guidelines for the government uh, agencies and the private sectors and citizens also. Uh, uh, they add also a very important issue, the electronic transitions and signature as in the, the, the transition law, and uh, this law provides a legal framework for the use of electronic signature contracts and document and this will help us in the digital transformation. So Egypt has created a large number of smart cities. How can these cities be linked to all ones in one system as these smart cities are considered one of the important achievements done by the government in the past few years? Again, I didn't hear the, the, the question again, sorry. Yes, I'm, taking about, I'm talking about uh, the uh, creation of a large number of smart cities smart cities, here yeah, in Egypt. of course, yeah, yes. yeah. Integrating smart cities uh, with other um, cities and or traditional cities in Egypt is very uh, important for the government and they're working in this from long time. Uh, to make this, we need to develop interconnected uh, infrastructure, which means establish power, fiber optic and wireless communication networks to connect the smart cities with the old urban uh, centers. Mm. Uh, also, we have to ensure a seamless integration of transportation systems 
such as high speed rail, uh, metro, and the smart mobility solutions uh, to facilitate the movement between the new and old cities. Uh, we need also to integrate uh, utility infrastructure such as smart grid, water management system, and waste management system to enable efficient uh, resource uh, sharing and optimization. Uh, in the digital service integration, the government should make the platform and the, uh, mobile application that can access uh, by the citizens and across the, uh, uh, across the old and the new cities. Uh, a shared government and the collaboration is a very important item that we need to share, uh, implement uh, coordinated govern governance and policy frameworks that align the development and management of smart cities with the needs and the characterized and of the old urban areas. And Egypt are working in this for a long time, and uh, one of the most important issues happened that, that we are adopt a common standard protocols and data exchange mechanism to enable the seamless integration of digital systems and technology across the urban network. By adopting these uh, strategies, Egypt can create a comprehensive and inclusive urban network that leverage and strengthens of both smart cities and traditional urban area, enhancing the overall uh, life ability and sustainability for all the people living in all the cities. And uh, in your opinion, what does any society need to fully uh, move to digital life? Uh, uh, for society to fully transition to digital life, there are several key elements that need to be addressed. For example, number one, uh, the power of high-speed internet. We need more power of high-speed internet, including transfer to five switch generation fiber optic network to ensure reliable access across the, the entire population. Uh, we need widespread availability of digital devices such as a smartphone, tablet, and the computers for all segments of society. And we need to secure uh, the data center and the cloud computing service. And this is we are now in Egypt doing this and digital platforms support the growing demand of digital services and the storages. We have a lot of uh, important challenges that we have to uh, overcome, like digital literacy and the skills. For this, we have to comprehensive digital education program uh, to equip citizens, including the elderly and the disadvantaged group, uh, with the necessary skills to, navi uh, to uh, navigate and uh, uh, to know the new technology, and this is not difficult. Yani some people fe always feel that the new technology is difficult and that they cannot uh, learn it, and this is not true. For this, Egypt is working and also elderly people to know the new technology. Uh, to also transfer or to help society to go for this, uh, it works uh, to empower college and uh, the, the, the education uh, for going uh, to make it easy for people to learn this. Digital inclusion and equity this is very important and, uh, and also digital innovation and entrepreneurship and digital uh, uh, trust for, uh, for the government and for the people who are working in this field. Yes. So, uh, Doctor, one final question. Is there a risk of full reliance on technology and should alternative plans be developed? Of course, yes, there is a risk of overall reliance on the technology. And uh, it is important for society to develop alternative plans and the strategies yes. to mitigate this risk. Some of the key risks and the needs of alternative plans include cyber threats. And it's very, very dangerous or very important for any country to address cyber security and cyber threats. The risk yes. with, with any, uh, the cyber attack and data breach and uh, system failure uh, which can disrupt uh, critical infrastructure. Uh, the, the plan for this is that we empower uh, our uh, cybersecurity system and management and the response and the response path. And we have now in Egypt CERN. CERN is very important. CERN, sorry, is a very important uh, center uh, to respond for any problem in the cyber attack. Uh, we the risk also that we can uh, face with the uh, uh, dependent on technology, the infrastructure failure, the potential downs of disruptions of digital infrastructure, such as the power outage, uh, internet connectivity issues, or hardware uh, malfunctions. Uh, so we have to make power, uh, pack up uh, power systems, and uh, pack up also for our communication uh, and our power system, 
especially for the places should, that should be always working and secure. Uh, also, the, the risk is that uh, we all can face uh, the, the rapid technological change and the need for continuous updated and upgraded, which can lead uh, the challenges and the high maintenance costs. Uh, uh, the, the solution for this is that we have to adapt our digital system and uh, make uh, training for people that they can make always maintenance and uh, follow up the new technology. Uh, the, the last thing, the privacy and data protection concerns. Increase uh, the data privacy and the potential for uh, misuse or uh, explanation of personal information. This is very important uh, risk that we have to take care about. And the government can make the framework and user-centric privacy control and backup mechanism for sensitive data. Yes, I'd like to thank Dr. Ghada Amir, Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, of Engineering at the Private University. Thank you for being with us, dear viewers. Show break and we'll be back, so stay tuned.